All right, guys, Nick Drosos. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at defense against an attacker with two knives. Now, uh, when I did my edge weapon defense instructor course with the Boston police, uh, we looked at different type of edged weapons. And one of the things I covered was an attacker with two knives. And one of the reasons why, you know, I went through close to 200 videos on YouTube of different type of knife attacks. And one of the things I, I saw was there was actually quite a bit of attacks where um, you know, the, you know with, with the attacker holding two knives in both hands, either, uh, give me the knives, either both ice pick grip this way or here or here. And then I said to myself, okay, well, it's something I've never covered. Um, how do I cover it? How do I, you know, how do I pressure test it? What can we learn if you're faced with an attacker with two knives? Now, this is probably, I believe, one of the worst. Already the knife is the most dangerous weapon in close quarter range with one. Now with two, it becomes even more dangerous because both the hands are weapons, right? Both the hands have that same slashing, stabbing, uh, depending on how you're holding each. So uh, Costa, grab them any way you want. So Costa, grab them this way, okay? Now. Before we get into the knife defense, uh, you know, obviously, you know, awareness is the key. Awareness. I see the two hands. I'm always looking at it at the hands. Is he having? Does is he does is he holding a weapon? If I see him both with both knives or even one knife, the idea against knife defense, you want to engage with the knife as a last resort. So if I could run, run, but make sure you got a good space of 15 feet of open space and that you can run faster than him. Second of all is pick up an improvised weapon if I can. Chair, table, whatever you could get to start throwing, create a flinch response, anything again for you to buy you time or to get to the door to evade an escape. Now if I have no choice and I have to fight, then you know, you're know you better off uh, doing something than nothing. And what does that mean? A lot of people tell me, well Nick, there's nothing you could do. If that is your mindset, I could already assure you you've, you're dead and you've lost the fight before you even started. But what I'm going to give you guys is some, some options, some tools that you could do if you're faced with an attacker with one, but right now with two knives, which is even worse. So let's say I'm here and I'm actually cornered. For me to think I'm going to run here or here, Costa, I'm... I'm, I'm, he's, he's got me covered. I'm, 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 I'm in both angles over here. If I'm trying to run, I'm screwed. Now, the idea that I'm just going to run is do this. What would you be doing, Costa? Boom, boom, stab. Right? So I need to face him. Obviously, against two knives, what I want to try to do is maybe use my legs to try to keep him back. If he decides to start stabbing and he goes in and he's going here, the idea is... I need to trap both weapons, right? So I'm either here, here, here. The idea, and it's not easy, I have to always find a way. Now I'm gonna get cut. There's no way you're not gonna get, if you, if you don't get cut or slashed, you, you're probably the luckiest man on the planet. But the chances are with two knives, because it's coming in with both speeds so fast, the chances are that you will get sliced, you will get cut. But in close quarter range, I need to trap those weapons. I need to isolate both hands because they both have... So I can't do this because what's happening, I'm getting stabbed here. So if I'm here, go, I need to do this and then find a way to jam this. What would you do next, Costa? So he would do well, here. Oh, shit. At least I got one hand trapped. I lost the grip. Then I'm here. What would you do next, Costa? He would try to grab. Let's say, boom, it went right in. At least right there, I don't, if, here's the thing, if I'm in close quarter range and I get stabbed, the difference between me getting stabbed one time or ten times is how fast am I going to trap and isolate. In close quarter range, there's only so much parrying I could do. So the idea is you want to trap one hand, trap both hands, isolate them, and from there find any way that you can strike. Now because both my hands are trapping, or trying to hold on any way you can, I have to either pass, trap the hands this way and find a way, or from there, what do I have? I have my knees, my head, right? I could maybe use his own weapons to strike, right? But the idea is, is as I'm trapping, 
I isolate, but this is when I'm going to have to use my knees and my head, as well as any opening I could find, hopefully make him drop one weapon and try to isolate one hand so I can strike with the other. As long as he's got both his hands on those knives, it's deadly, right? So if I'm here, we could go slow motion like a small drill. So put your hands over here, Costa, like this, right? So put like over here. So this is a small drill I do. So whenever you want, Costa, you go slowly and just start slashing or stabbing. So both hands, whatever you want. So if he's here, my goal is to just, oh. So right now, I managed to trap it this way, here to here. Now we're going slow, right? But here, boom, boom, I'd be, Boom, try to buck, try to eye gouge, slice over here. And if I could find the opening, get out as quickly as possible. Right? So again, I don't want to tell you guys, the video is not made to tell you guys, oh, this is, you know, if you're going to leave a comment and tell me this is unrealistic. Um, I'm trying to give you guys at least an option. I'm trying to give you guys some solutions, some type of defense that you could do. So the idea is if I'm here, obviously if I'm using my legs and Costa comes in and he does this and I'm here, I start going Costa and he tries to stab and I'm here. At least I'm, 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 I'm still getting stabbed. I've eliminated. Right now I'm going to just do this. From there, boom, I'll use pin it here. Kick to the balls here. Kick to the knee. Hammer here. over here. Come on. I would just go boom, bang his head. But look how I pinned it. Whatever. Keep going Costa. What would you do? He's here. At least I'm here. I'm making sure. Now look, I trapped it here. I'm striking here. Guys, not, you okay, Costa? Yeah. It's not, this is one of the worst type of defenses to go, and we're going in slow motion, right? But the idea is, isolate those hands. If you could pass them and trap both hands with one hand and strike with the other, great. If you trap with both hands, strike with your head and with your knees, as well as slamming the guy in any type of wall, anywhere you can. Make him try to dry, drop one hand so you only have to worry about one weapon and get out as quickly as possible. So I hope you enjoyed the lesson. I'll see you next time.